Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share something with you. I just cut my video off thinking I was moving to the next reference, but anyway. So I'm doing this again. We have to really be careful about what is being chipped away at, right out from under us, right in front of our very eyes. And we as people of God and Americans are letting it happen because we just go with the flow, with the status quo. Yeah. So I want you to hear a little tidbit of this video. Listen. This is what, it, just a little segment, it's only two minutes long, but I don't want to take up the time. But this is what YouTube said about this video. To monetize a video, your video content metadata and thumbnail must be advertiser friendly. The thumbnail to this was gotten from Google Creative Commons Picks, number one. Number two, it was a picture of a woman leaning over a casket like most of us widows would do, crying over our husbands who have just died. This is what this is about. Listen to this. Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I'm here to talk to you about how are you treating your widows? How are your widows faring in your church memberships? Are you thinking about them? Do you give them any time? Now, I say this to say, I am a widow, and I really, really have been blessed with a group of friends. And I talk about how they have blessed me. Now, I'm fast forwarding, and I want you to hear what was said toward the end. It's only about two minutes long, but I don't want to take up the time. I'm making an example. That's what this video was about, and YouTube denied it because of the content. Listen. Pat Love, the widows in your church may need something and give them your time and your skills and God will reward you openly. God you will reward you openly. Just think about that for the holidays. God bless you. That's it. That's it. Now, this is what I want to say. For them to say, your video isn't being monetized because it contains content that might not be appropriate for advertising. Huh? I'll leave the link. When I upload this, I'll leave the link in the description box. And you can see what I mean if you're interested in even watching this. My warning to you is... Who is undermining this country? The country is being sold out from under us bit by bit, plot by plot of property, business by business, bank by bank. Yeah. Now listen to what this man says in this movie. It's one sentence. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here it is. Good. Okay. Well, it's really very simple. We're taking our freedoms for granted. A couple of years ago, my son mentioned the word God in his valedictorian speech. Well, today, we would be sued by some lone humanist. Bob, uh, we all miss the good old days. I'm not talking about the good old days, Ernie. We are not losing some endangered species of fish. Our freedoms are being taken away from us one by one. Well, that's how we're taking them back, one at a time. Now... I'm stopping there. The point is, the name of this movie, if you want to watch it, it's on YouTube, Last Ounce of Courage, 2012. Listen, we have to be careful. We have to really pray, and many of us have to start taking a stand, or else before we know it, we will have to get special, listen to me, mark my words, if we are not careful, if we don't pray, I hope this doesn't come to pass. But if we're not careful, we, on YouTube, will have to ask permission to air Christian videos. 
we will have to ask special permission to pray on a video, to use the name of Jesus when we pray. And some videos might start being taken down because of the name of Jesus, because of our witness, because of speaking up for God. I'm really feeling this right now. We don't realize how our country is being sold out from under us to foreigners who don't believe in our faith, who are not about what this country was about when it started. Freedoms of religion, freedoms of faith, freedom to believe in God, founded on God, founded on belief in God, founded on biblical uh, principles, even though they didn't get it all right. Slavery tells you that. But the bottom line is, let's not, dig let's not regress here. We cannot afford to lose our freedoms. Because there are people out there with private agendas that are trying to undermine the direction and the foundation of this country. Now, whether you believe or whether you don't, you are free either way. But when those freedoms are being taken away and you have to make special meetings to pray and worship to God together, and when you're out in public, you say, oh, thank you, Jesus. And somebody has you arrested. Don't be surprised if that happens, you guys. That someone might actually have a legal right to have you arrested for blurting out the name of Jesus in public. Disturbing the peace. Using foul language inappropriate communication in a public setting on a public square what think about it it's something to pray about it's something to do something about if you have kids in school and they're getting penalized for praying in the classroom for bringing a bible to school you better get up in there and raise all kind of holy heaven I'm serious. It's not time to be passive, sucking your thumb, saying, oh, well, que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. <laughs> no, not now. Because things will snowball. And before you know it, baby cakes, there will be things. We can't use the name of God in public. Christ in public? A cross? Come on, now think about it. Think. Come on, go back. No more prayer in school. Right? The the, the judge that got uh, uh, legal problems. I can't even get my words together because it's so frustrating to think about. The stupidity of it all. Because he allowed the... Ten Commandments to be publicly displayed <sighs> on government turf. The country is based on God. And now we can't use the name of God. Don't be surprised if they remove the name of God from our money. Excuse me. Anyway. I'm going to stop because I get on an, on an emotional tyrant. <laughs> but I'm just asking you to please pray. It's serious. It really is, you guys. Don't get to the hospital and somebody tells you, oh, I'm sorry, but you can't pray for your dying loved one. Well, why not? Well, it's illegal now. What? Don't be surprised if that stuff starts happening if we stop doing anything about it if we choose to continue business as usual 501c3s in churches read the fine print how much power do you really have or have you relinquished your power to the government 
and they can force you legally to do what goes diametrically opposed to your own beliefs. I'm telling you, we are losing our freedoms drop by drop, bit by bit, inch by inch, mile by mile. And all we're doing is this. Tiptoe through the tulips. I mean, where are we? Wake up, church. Wake up, America. Or we're going to be going down, baby. And nobody will have a right to complain. (sighs) Yeah. Think about it. Pray about it. And please do something about it. God bless you.